Well, anybody that's done one lap has a hard time explaining it to people anyway. You, you do what for fun? Um, but it's, a, it's an eight day endurance rally where all the points are accumulated at racetracks and time trucks. So we drive a few hundred miles, we unload our vehicles, we do a couple of time trials, timed events on the racetrack for point. Pop your stuff up, head on to the next one. And down the face of it, it seems pretty simple, but that's to avoid the, 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 the camaraderie and the interaction and the, and the thrill of the event and, uh, and uh, the beautiful scenery that I raise in America that uh, these people experience. guys, we're at Tire Rack today. We're gonna kick off the Tire Rack one lap of America. The same gives a new shot with a vet like this, the same with me. And me, tell us about yourself. Yes. Well, uh, I'm Andy McKee and I do a lot of events racing around the country with Mike, uh, mostly uh, autocross and stuff, occasional track stuff. Basically, I'm here because uh, he asked me to come, so you don't turn a friend down on an <laughs> opportunity like this. And uh, we're running a uh, 2006 Mitsubishi Evo. First hit the road yesterday after nine months, so it's kind of a car that was put together very quickly. Uh, a lot of new untested parts. Take a look at our new 2017 Mustang. We have uh, custom wheels that we made, mm -hmm. custom amps and body panels. You can see the Falcon tires. And one of those new uh, kind of parts is uh, Falcon tires. And I think this is probably the very first time that 315 series tires have been fit on a stock body Evo. It took a lot of work to make it happen. But they're on there and we're pretty proud of it. We're all smiles now, but we'll see what happens here throughout the week. We're going to see how they do. There's no better way to test it than Tyrax one lap of America. And the wind kicked back two times around the track in a clockwise direction. That's a 200 foot tuck hole there. And two times in the cup clockwise direction. Okay, so that was the start of the event. So we're doing like a skin pad. Um, I've never done that before. And you had to have your windshield wipers on. You get blasted in the side once in a while. That's kind of an extra dynamic you need to think about. The wet skin pad is something we haven't done in the car, obviously. That's kind of a repeating theme for the whole week. After that, the drivers went down to the Wisdom Air Force Base for an autocross. Yeah, 
sir. I'm gonna be piloting the, the one lap RS this morning. Um, pretty excited. We're at Memphis International right now, and so there's there's two uh, road course sessions. I'll be doing the road course sessions, and then after road course is finished up, uh, Ronnie's gonna be hopping in and doing the drag racing, uh, low ET, and then uh, bracket style racing. So uh, pretty excited. This is gonna be the first track shakedown for the car. Uh, yesterday we had the autocross, which uh, was a good test. The car did really well, uh, but it's a little different when you're at speed on the road course. So we'll see how she does. Um, guys are dialing her in right now, just double checking things. And I'm driving the track in my head. So we're here in Memphis. This is day two of One Lap America. Yesterday we did Let's Get Pad and Tire Rack up in South Bend, Indiana. We finished about this pack in the in the skid pad that was a huge rain curve. We pulled it back a little bit. We did really well yesterday in the autocross. And they only did a qualify this thing for us. So today's a road course in Memphis and hey, pay attention because we're going to do our best. Fifteen minutes, my journey was still chilling. I gotta say that the uh, fog tires were freaking amazing. 
uh, really gripped up good this time. The MMI suspension. I'm a lucky guy to be in this position. I, I really owe all of my sponsors smile okay, the MMI and all the crew. Thank you so much for putting us here because smile still flashes my face. Sebring was, uh, you know, obviously a track down in Florida. You know, the speeds there were very high. The surface is pretty bumpy, um, and some of the visuals of uh, keeping, staying up at speed through some of the sections uh, on a flat track were maybe more challenging than you might think. Sebring was all about maintaining speed, you know, and it was like here's a big long curve coming up at you and you're going to be flat out in fifth gear around that curve oh, okay. and it'll do it. you got to believe that it's going to do it and believing something at about 140 mile an hour is, it's kind of hard to step up to that but you got to step up like yesterday. We, we ultimately did really well. We uh, won Sebring for our class. So we left uh, Sebring, we drove up, uh, stopped off at Grassroots Motorsports, which was really cool. And uh, that was just an eye-opening experience. Those guys produced a big magazine out of the place. Uh, we drove up from there up to Carolina Motorsports Park in South Carolina, Kershaw. Day five, we're in the Waffle House. We're gonna get some breakfast. Out in the Carolinas, East Coast, the Waffle House is a chain. It's known for their um, pancakes. No, actually they're waffles. So, it's, pretty, it's a good place. Just, you know, it's everywhere out here. And you can get yourself a good little breakfast to go. And it, when you're in the Carolinas, you go to the Waffle House. Okay, folks, we will be taking a lap at Kershaw Speedway, otherwise known as Carolina Motorsports Park. There's no replacement. 
up with uh, rain all around us. It's a whole nother level of uh, challenge. So the big decisions right now are how are we going to set up our car. And the good thing is it's going to be real easy on tire wear today. We have to drive smart to get through the day. We're pooling between two and three. That seems to be the only, only bad spot on the track too. Put him as gas and dogs, his gas and dogs. Okay. Uh, you've got three pedals and a steering wheel. Prudence, maybe. When you get into those kind of conditions, it will really separate the uh, pretty good drivers from the great drivers. It was pretty evident that uh, we had a pretty great driver. Dominion is going to be intimidating if you come down the front straight and you funnel into a concrete wall heaven.
this is seat for the both of you? Or is this three of them? And we are in Michigan now, Gingerman. And uh, this is the last road race of the whole uh, event. Really excited. I think we just got done making a huge transit last night. The car handled great. One yesterday's rain. We just need to pull the holes in it. experience of one lap. Everybody is family and, and we want want to get the person back out there. We want people to finish the race and everybody's willing to help out. So right now we got a couple of guys uh, helping rescue uh, Chris and his co-driver. So uh, I bet it'll be out this afternoon on course again. changes and just want to leave on that high note so pretty exciting pretty happy to be here next driver was 13th overall as a wet line Class 
One Left America is definitely one of the biggest roller coasters you'll ever do. You know, you'll start, you know, the event, you'll be excited, you're you know, ready to go, and start doing the event, and then, you know, in our case, we had a, a, a motor failure on day two. So, you know, you just ups and downs, and you know, get the motor fixed, and we got it back up and running, and so back up again, and it's, it's just one big emotional roller coaster. So, it's it's one of those things, you know, as you're doing it, you kind of question, why are we doing this? It's crazy, but then, you know, you, you get the motor back in, you're out there running, and you turn that lap at Sebring, and it's just like, yes, this is why we do it. This, this is it. After these guys broke and went, uh, lost their ability to go for the uh, top 10, they helped a variety of people along the way. And selfishly helped at least two teams in very, very large ways. And, but it's the team, team RS Motors, the uh, Ronnie Solomon, Brandon Randwick, and uh, Andy Schneegard. And they're spending They did a wonderful job. And so now here is a lovely trophy. And I'm not mailing. And Sports GG to Big Four. In uh, first place, we have Mike Meyer and Andrew McKee and that Big Four Mustang. Juan is we have Rookie of the Year for those people that have shown up for the first time. And we have Mike Meyer and Andrew McKee. But, hey, I really want to say thank you to Falcon um, for giving us the opportunity to hang out with you guys. So I'd like to definitely give a hats off to Falcon guys. But, uh, and you're halfway all right, too. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the end of our week now, it's been a, it's been a great experience. Through a lot of other motorsports activities like this, we have a kind of core group that do this crazy activity all week long. Is, you bond with people that have that, that same craziness that you do. So, not now, Kato is this car because out of the blue, it tries to kill you. <laughs> when the steering wheel is upside down, which means you're in trouble, you can read it properly. Um, that said, it's, I can't imagine not doing it. And it was just one of those things I've been doing so long. And, and, and neither can so many of these other people. The month of May isn't complete without getting in a car and driving hours and hours and hours and then and, and having some fun and seeing the people they see once a year. Uh, uh, Herr Dubler has been coming to this event, oh God, I guess since 92. It is Robert Dubler's 70th birthday. He's been participating in the One Lab for well over 20 years at this point. So he is a icon amongst all the One Lappers. Since 93? You know, we, we never know, but the will is there. This event is filled with, with nice people and great cars and wonderful racetracks. And it's a, it's a combination that, uh, that people that come here for the first time uh, find welcoming, find exciting, find fun. For the people that have done it for years, you can't imagine not doing it. Seeing the tracks, it's really amazing. I mean, you know, but that's merely the catalyst of the, the tracks and the cars. As much as we focus on them, it's just the tool that brings us together. 